tourism in Nigeria is very interesting and um, my name is Francis Adinka Thomas. I was born in Nigeria. Please come with me on a journey to my country. Come have a look at some of the tourist potentials that you have in Nigeria. Tourism has been seen as multi-sectoral activities that cut across a wide range of sectors which include agriculture, commerce, business, manufacturing, transportation, and management of the environment, among others. No doubt this multifaceted sector has over time provided huge foreign exchange earnings and has created lots of jobs globally in the countries where it is given its prime of place. This project is responsible for policy, support, marketing, research and development. Bukebajon Festival, as the name and title imply, is the celebration of the funding of Ibadoland by an Ife prince, Lagelu, who came from Ileife to fund Ibadan around 1810. They say an ungrateful heart is a devil's heart. Lagelu, to show sign of gratitude to God, for granting his prayers, established the celebration of Oke Badon every year, during which period Ibadan. We will appreciate God, we will thank him for past blessings and ask for more. The point where the Oke Badon is situated and is called Osemeji is where every new lake round Olubadon goes first to pray. Then, culturally, every proud and true Ibadan indigenous, male, female, and even our lovers, revive this celebration, this festival, because it is the main major cultural event in Ibadan land. You can take this year's celebration as the pilot for the Rainbow Okebadon without losing the essential of Okebadon proper. tourism, ecotourism, lots more. When I talk about ecotourism, Ogo State do have Area J4 where we have the Omo elephant forest. It's a reserved forest where we have lots of wildlife, bird view. Ogo State is open to tourists to come over for the bird viewing to visit our elephant forest. Even our bamboo dome over there. We have the lake side too for camping. We're talking about monumental tourism. This is when we are talking about our monuments like Olumo Rock. We have Madame Tinubutom. We have the Centenary Hall, all in Abeokuta, Oko State. We have lots cutting across Oko State. Even the Ayo Tom, we have it. Ayo, is, he was an indigenous of Oko State before he settled at um, Lagos, later came back and even died in Oboste. We have the tomb here, we have lots of potential. And when you're talking about the aquatic tourism, we have the 
Ebuti or the tourist beach. We have the Wokwe tourist beach. Here you can do lots of boat cruising. You can you can have your boat regatta on a yearly basis. We have a particular festival called Ajodro Koshi in um, Ebuti Oni where you have the boat regatta. We have lots. Ogun State is blessed, and when we are, we are talking about the religious tourism aspect of it, we have the Sheshe Festival in Ogun State. Cutting out at that particular day has been a mark to celebrate the Sheshe Festival. When we are talking about the Sheshe, we are talking about all the traditional um, religion. Whether you are worshipping the God of Hion, known as Ogo, or the God of Thunder, Shogo, and the rest of it, Egumu, here and there, the Ifa itself, everybody will come together, will worship together all over the world. We do, do celebrate that one too in Ogo State. Not only that, we still have other things like Ifa, Ifa Festival separately, we have the Egumu Festival separately, we have the Agemo Festival. Agemo, you can easily get that one around the Jebu area. Ogo State is divided. This is the venue of the Cathedral Church of St. Peter's, Ake Abeokuta, where Christianity started in Nigeria in about 1843, led by uh, a man of God called Reverend Henry Townsend. He came all the way from Badagri and uh, was closely, he closely followed the, the Methodist man. Uh, Reverend Henry Townsend established the Anglican Church. He came all the way from Badagri and uh, was closely, he closely followed the, the Methodist man. Uh, Reverend Henry Townsend established the Anglican Church in Abeokuta and was supported at that time by the crews from the Syria. From Syria. I think tourism in Nigeria would um, be a thing that is welcome. Uh, mm. We have so many tourist attractions in Nigeria. Are you sure? Very. Um, I would um, say this, that in, two, in 2013, myself, Steve Johnson, returned to Bini Bronzes. I know that is going to be another discussion. Okay. Another day's discussion. All right. But in the course of us doing that, mm. we saw that there are so many tourists as actual in Bini City. In Bini? In Bini, Bini itself. In Bini City itself, mm. there's so many tourist attractions mm. that if the government can fund, you will be, you will be rest assured that Nigeria will be the center for course of the world. Hmm. Imagine 3,000 Bini Bronzes all over the world now, spread all over the world. 3,000? Over 3,000 Bini Bronzes. British, British Museum, we have nothing less than 200. Out of that 3,000? Out of that 3,000. And about, I think about five is still on display in the British Museum. Uh, so in terms of um, tourism in Nigeria, mm. um, the, if the federal government is very, very supportive, uh, we have the Yankari Games, we have the, the, the likes of um, um, the, the, the um, Niger, the River Niger. Yeah, we're still talking about it as yes, well, because that's a symbolic uh, uh, idea as, of uh, as three. As it's, it, yeah. it, it, uh, the, the, the way the map is, and if you see how the river cut across is, the confluence meet at Lokoja, hmm. dividing the north, and then it flows straight down, creating a southern region and the eastern region. Can I ask you, is it a natural nature or an handiwork of human nature? No, this is natural. This is natural. The two nobody rivers are natural. natural. Yeah. Nobody 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 restructured or redirected the rivers. That's how they came. Uh, uh, you've not journeyed on the river uh, on the river Niger. No, no, yeah. It's but a I'm massive going river. To Nigeria now to river, river Niger is a very massive river that you cannot just you cannot just um, say today you're gonna rechannel. They are all natural. Hmm. It's a natural um, river that had its course, had its flow, and had its source 
from me, some, from somewhere. Which could be part of this uh, tourist yes, attraction Yes, it, it, could, it could be. Um, I need to tell, tell you tell this. Tell about your experience then. I need to tell you this, cool. that I did not know that there, there was a new busa, uh, there was an old busa, and there's a new busa. The old busa, apparently, is underwater now. Under the water? It's underwater now, in, in new busa. It's underwater. My word. Twice we made the effort to go to journey down to where old old, old Busa was, but it was it it was um, cut short because of um, 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 weathers and uh, some tourist distraction that happened uh, when when we wanted to, so hmm. we couldn't continue because our aim is to look at where the old Busa was, see what what artifacts. Can still be dog or can still be seen. And shortly before the Hemel died, he charged us that he would want us to build a monument at the center where um, the old, old um, Nibusa was. But sadly, we were not able to achieve oh that before God. he died. Oh so, honestly, there are so many, many tourist attractions in Nigeria. Uh, we need funding to to sort of regenerate all those um, areas. Mm. We need um, um, good ambassadors who could market cultural ambassadors. Cultural ambassadors who could who could market mm. what we have, and we uh, and, and like I said, funding to restructure, to redesign, to re. re Re, uh, sort of format um, what what is um, what is there presently to create a, a very good impression to the world. Mm. That's what we need. Um, to my viewers, I would um, try to introduce the Emi Jesha waterfall. I don't mm. know whether you know the Emi Jesha waterfall. Um, there's the fall. Um, it's from the state, social state where I'm from. Yeah. Um, and this fall, you just have to experience it. I won't say much. Try to go go it. Yummy, so delicious. Mm. Talk about their dressing. Abiyokuta is known for Adire. The Adire means Adi, Are, Thai, and Dai. Adire Ogun is a unique textiles on it so that stands out anywhere you can create any design from it like what i'm putting on now i'm putting on the adire you have the adire in different style now we have you will see that Ogun state is well blessed richly blessed in culture well grounded in tourism and to crown it all, Ogun State is very secure. There's nothing like security risk in Ogun State. Ogun State people, we are very accommodating, very entertaining. Come to Adair State. Come and explore our indie treasure. Thank you. Yeah. Presenting you this brochure yeah. on our indie treasure that we have in Ogun State. I hope it will be of benefit to you and to your research. You're welcome. I will wrap up with the words of Benjamin Franklin. He said, and I quote, If you would not be forgotten as soon as you are dead, Either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. Benjamin Franklin. <laughs>